Hi guys, today is Tuesday, uh, July 5th, and it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm standing um, in my front yard underneath, uh, standing under my eucalyptus, my eucalyptus tree. So, but this stuff, this stuff here that I'm showing is, um, uh, th these are the seasonal decorations that I've decided to go ahead and donate now to um, a local um, thrift store. I'd like to donate it to the, uh, there's a, 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 a small uh, thrift store in Camarillo, it's called cats or Christians acting together um, so I, I'd like to drive to Camarillo tomorrow and, and donate these um, seasonal decorations so this is uh, the, the Hall not the Halloween this is the uh, oh th this is the 4th of July stuff that I had this stuff in my indoor yard sale but it, it didn't this is the stuff that didn't sell and I kind of feel like it's not going to now, you know. Um, there's not very many people who buy things off season. I always have. I I've have found some like really really super cool stuff off season. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and donate this because I want to keep moving forward. And uh, what I'm trying to do is let more go I'm trying to let more of the items that I have I'm trying to let go of that so this is the 4th of July stuff that that didn't sell this was my uh, Cinco, Cinco de Mayo um, decorations and then over here is the uh, Valentine's Day this I had a little bit of Valentine's um, items and then uh, all of that in, in the back there is um, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, cute stuff. So, it, you know, it might sell in a thrift store. And then on this side over here is a combination of Easter and baby shower. This was um, the Easter stuff that I didn't sell and the baby shower. For a girl, oh, this little, this little chili pepper goes in the uh, Cinco de Mayo stuff. So yeah, I wanted to. <sighs> that's what I did today. This was my project today. So um, I'm gonna put it in um, the trunk of my car, and then tomorrow um, drive to Camarillo in the morning and, and donate that to that thrift store. So, um, coming into my Quonset hut, another thing that I was busy today also, um, see this is, if you look back at previous videos, you'll see that these tables here, um, this long table, I had, uh, Valentine's Day on, on this part, all the pink area, and then this part of the table was all for St. Patrick's Day. So I've taken those decorations, um, taken them away, I'm gonna donate those. And now I'm gonna use this uh, tabletop space for other things that I have in the house, like stuff, you know, pictures and things that um, I, I'm ready to part with, that I'm ready to, um, I'm ready to let go of. So this is gonna be kind of just like uh, just a table of just like m miscellaneous uh, houseware items. That's a cute vintage, uh, a very cute vintage uh, Valentine's Day um, plate. So, and then the other thing that um, 
I wanted to say was that it just so happens that Robert found this. He he had forgotten that he had this. It's a it's a buck knife. Um, he looked it up online. I forget what it it was a limited edition uh, buck knife, and they um, they made this in in collaboration with the with the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, he looked it up. It's it's a, it's got a model number and everything. Anyway, I did. I gave it a really good detail clean today. I spent like forty minutes cleaning it, and I used a WD forty and a and a paintbrush. You know, kind of a, a stiff um, paintbrush, and I cleaned this. Um, it's like a utility knife. So I'm gonna put this in my bug out bag. So I wanted to talk about, or you know, that's pretty cool, you know. And of course, you know, this is, is the this is the kind of thing that you need to have in in your uh, bug out bag. I mean, I don't know. I probably won't ever use it, but it's nice to know that if I have a need for any one of these, like the corkscrew or the, I guess that's a bottle opener, and then th th that's a little miniature like. Uh, pliers I think and then the blade the, the blade and then there's something there to open cans like a can opener and then there's a little um a, a little uh screw screwdriver uh, it's a little sorry I can't get it to focus yeah so and then the other thing I'm gonna add this is gonna be the last thing I figured what the heck you know I have this duct tape I'm gonna also put that in the, um, the, you know, the bug out bag, like an emergency bag that you can, if you gotta get out quickly for whatever reason, emergency, and you gotta just grab something and go, well, that's what the bug out bag is. So this is gonna be added to my bu bug out bag. And then um, the other thing I wanted to tell you, or like show, was that these are the kinds of things that you can find at thrift stores. I found this because I go to the bins, the, the uh, the uh, Goodwill outlet and this I've already used it for uh, a few things but it's it was brand new it was still in the wrap still still in the plastic wrap wrapper and um, it's just long it's got a nice you know handle I liked it because it's white and it's um, you know you never know when you need to like clean something with and you need you need a bristle brush and you need it to be long so there it is there you know I've already used it a couple times, so it's like real practical, you know. And then also, this is vintage, but it works perfectly, perfectly fine. It's a uh, heating pad, and I gave it a detail clean, and it's got three settings. And um, I've actually used this a couple times when my lower back is hurting me a lot. Um, I'll plug in this heating pad and sit, you know, sit down in my chair with this behind my back. So. Um, and then, um, now this is something that's a little more uh, unusual. I, ha I found this box of um, their coins, and then they have scripture. It has scripture. Um, let's see if it'll come in. I can't I can't get it to um, focus and sharpen there sorry about that but anyways yeah they're really nice um, coins um, so uh, yeah I thought that was cool I don't know someday maybe I'll have a need to pass you know to pass them around I, I'm, I'm thinking you know anyways uh, so Oh, and then the last thing I was gonna say was that um, I did I did decide on a uh, name for my channel, so I'm gonna be calling it um, Dream. I'm gonna be calling it Dream the Possible. Yeah, Dream the Possible is what I'm gonna call it. This is, this is the 4th of July collection that I have that I am, that I am keeping.
my my two wreaths I had two wreaths you know the one with the falling stars and this wreath and then um, these items these are the only things that I'm keeping for myself from my my Fourth uh, of July patriotic decor so so now I get to eat my lunch. All right, you guys, take care of yourselves. Bye now.